Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy AB, and uh, today I'd like to give you guys a little update on my Toy Story collection. But before we start, I'd like to say thank you guys for the love and support you guys have given my Toy Story collection in 2023. I want to thank you guys so much for that because that video is now my most popular video on my YouTube channel. It's almost at 3,000 views and it is so crazy and mind-blowing that I've gotten that far with that video. So I'd like to continue uh, by showing what else I've gotten recently. Here I got Lotso from the Disney store. The Disney store online. He uh, smells like strawberries which is why I was smelling right there. Very strong scent and I love it. That's uh, probably my favorite thing about uh, Lotso here is that uh, he's very... He smells very good. And in Toy Story 3, he was a very evil villain, and I loved him. He was probably one of the most evil villains out there. Now, I like to show you Zerg. So I got this Zerg right here. He pushes buttons. The little balls in here can uh, spin. He's got uh, this voice button. That's a bit odd. Thought he had some other phrases because I had the uh... Okay, and now apparently there's like a feature for uh, these two interactive uh, toys because you can see the things on him and the thing on him. Now I'm gonna sh like show you a little bit of a reference here. Uh, this is the Buzz Lightyear I bought for my uh, friend Mutant Florida Man, aka General. Uh, right here, uh, he has like a toy detector, which is uh, some of the things uh, the Disney Store uh, Toy Store toys have. They have toy detectors and I think they can unlock secret phrases and communicate with each other. Okay, let's see this. What the heck? I did not. Okay, I've never tested that out. That was that is so cool. I never knew this about the toys. Here we go to finish off the update video for my Toy Story collection. I'm gonna show off this bucket of soldiers my mom got me for Christmas. My mom and dad. Now I already showed you guys this in my first Toy Story collection video. Here's Sarge and the injured soldier. It also comes with uh, three of these parachuting parachuting troopers. I know I already showed you that, which is why I'm going to be doing sort of a comparison right here, which is something I've always wanted to do, because this is the 1995 bucket of soldiers from Thinkway. That's from the Disney store. This is from Thinkway. Uh, the designs are pretty similar, except you get to hear they got a uh, bucket of soldiers content, 72 soldiers, including two with parachutes. So these also got some parachuting uh, troopers in them. Ah, let's open this bad boy up because I got this sucker on eBay and these guys from my knowledge new in the box are kind of hard to come by I do have to say I do prefer the Disney stores buckets design because it's more movie accurate over this because well got the Toy Story right in the middle of that so the lid is completely off okay right off the bat I noticed that the uh, shades of green for the soldiers are very off and these are the two parachuting troopers here. I don't really know how to feel about these uh, soldiers here and plus the uh, rings to hold the strings are they're enlarged which is very off for me but uh and the size of these things whoa and just they added extra details that wasn't even in the movie what in the world no joke, this is my first reaction to these freaking soldiers. Like, what the heck is even this guy doing? Is he throwing a... Oh, he's throwing a grenade. Okay. That guy looks like he's got a machine gun. I showed you the bazooka. Is that a sniper? I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna have to say I like the Disney Store bucket better than this because, well, they're very weird looking. They're very chunky looking. Why, I guess I can see why they, uh updated uh all the toys designs because you got you got woody's design looking weird you got buzz's design looking weird and of course the uh 
but the soldiers looks weird. Okay, and the last thing I'm about to unbox here is from the UK, so I'm about to find out. Okay, here we go, our first Prospector toy that I've collected so far, but I'm gonna get it out of the way here on my thoughts on Prospector being a toy. I don't understand why the Toy Story collection from Thinkway didn't jump on the idea of making a uh, semi-movie accurate Prospector toy, because that would have done really well with uh, the other Toy Story collection from the Woody's Roundup boxes. That would have been amazing to have. I mean, it would have had a pull string and everything, but they never did. But the closest thing we're gonna get is the movie accurate ones that uh, fans have made, but that guy's like $600, so this is probably gonna be the closest thing I'm ever gonna get to a movie accurate prospect. So, here it is. Prospector. He's a bean plush, and I uh, really like his head and really like his hat. Uh, I'm gonna be putting him with my other Toy Story villains that I got in the back over in my room. Okay, two last pieces to the Toy Story collection that I just got. Uh, this is my old buttercup that uh, my mom found recently and told me that uh, this would be one or two less toys to uh, repurchase. I got him from uh, Disney Parks uh, a while back and uh, he's in fairly good condition. Still just has a little rip right there that I'm gonna fix. This right here is Mr. Pickle Pants and he's in very good condition. He's from Toy Story Collection and I'm surprised that he uh, is do is looking really good. That is so far, ah, he fell. So here I put Zerg and Prospector and Lotso and of course these two. And I put all my bucket of soldiers right here, which I'm glad I got uh, two different buckets of them. All right guys, we have made it to the end of the video and I plan on making a bunch more update videos as I keep collecting more and more Toy Story toys. And I noticed that uh, the first Toy Story collection video got over 3,000 views, which is mind blowing. And I'm really grateful for uh, all the love and support that that video got. And if you guys want more, I will keep making more. That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, AB. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.